People are very sensitive about what they eat. I'm going to be 100 years old, so that's attracting some attention. I'm probably going to be 100 years old. Dr. Ellsworth Wareham was an extraordinary 104-year-old cardiac surgeon who worked up until he was 96 and revealed the real reason why some people live for 100 years and others don't. And it may all come down to seven lifestyle and diet secrets that may soon be lost to time. We have a lot of information in this country which is not being applied, which would greatly reduce the incidence we have of coronary disease. Today we will unveil the secrets that Dr. Wareham used to live such a long and fulfilling life so that his infinite wisdom can live on forever. Make sure you don't miss any of them. But what makes Dr. Wareham such a highly trusted authority? Throughout his life, Dr. Wareham was a remarkable inspiration and loved by many. Key one, exercise. Most people who met Dr. Wareham throughout his lifetime were in complete awe of his physical strength and agility. But how did he keep his body so young? For him, it was all about a specific type of daily exercise. You know, I don't have any trouble with my joints. My hands are steady. Uh, my balance is good, you know. I don't have any trouble with my balance. I don't have to walk with a cane or anything like that. So I'm basically no different than what I was 50 years ago. Even on his 100th birthday, he started his morning in an active way. Try to be active by uh, working around my yard, doing uh, my uh, pruning of my bushes, and I mow my own lawn. And... This low intensity daily activity routine has kept his physical body mobile and active even after a century. The National Institute of Health states that gardening preserves strength and agility while also increasing vitamin D levels from sunlight. Also mowing, as Dr. Wareham did, effectively burns calories. He spent about 10 hours a week working in his garden. Dr. Wareham also believed that climbing stairs can keep your body active, and he did that without the need for a walking stick. If you climbed a flight of stairs 20 times a week, now that's only three times a day, you get me? It's pretty hard to live in a two-story house and not climb a flight of stairs three times a day. That you reduce your incidence of dying of heart disease by 46%. The Center of Health Protection says climbing stairs easily adds exercise to your routine. It boosts heart and lung function, circulation, resistance to coronary disease, strengthens bones and muscles, and burns fat. With these workouts, it is no surprise that he was able to drive his car even at the age of 100. But is exercise simply enough to prolong your life? Key two, sugar and salt intake. Dr. Wareham believed that if you truly want a fit and healthy body, you need to pay attention to what you eat. This is why the second key to Dr. Wareham's longevity was his decision to cut down on his sugar and salt intake. High intake of sugar will affect your cholesterol. If you are successful in bringing down your salt and sugar intake, you will be able to lower your cholesterol level. If your cholesterol is under 140, very, very seldom that anybody has a heart attack with a cholesterol of 140. That is not all. The World Health Organization asserts that reducing your sugar consumption can lower the risk of obesity and diabetes. Similarly, reducing your salt intake can also lower blood pressure and the risk of cardiovascular diseases. Key three, vitamin B12. Dr. Wareham, up until the very end, only needed one supplement, vitamin B12. And that became his third key to a healthy and fulfilling life. I could get by by taking a little vitamin B12. Why, of course, I then became entirely vegan. According to PubMed Central, vitamin B12 helps in red blood cell formation and reduces the risk of anemia. It also supports your bone health which is especially important in old age. One study on PubMed Central showed that people with lower levels of vitamin B12 are at a greater risk of developing dementia. If you gave me something to memorize, 
I would memorize it just as quickly now as I would uh, when I was 20. His sharp mind and strong body stayed with him until the very end. Key four, animal fat. The fourth key to Dr. Wareham's longevity was his decision to completely cut out animal fat from his diet. You have to avoid the animal fats. Harvard Health warns that animal fats and saturated fats can boost LDL cholesterol and clog arteries, upping heart disease risk. Keep these fats under 10% of your diet. Swap them with unsaturated or monosaturated fats to cut heart disease risk. But for Dr. Wareham, your outlook on life plays a big role as well. Key five, attitude to life. This is why the fifth golden key that helped Dr. Wareham live for 100 years was his attitude to life. I try to maintain a calm approach to the problems of life and not worry and fret over problems that come along. Dr. Wareham has found the perfect stress management system for himself. If you wish to achieve longevity, you need to eliminate stress from your life. I have a philosophy, you do the best you can, and the things you can't do anything about, don't give any thought to them. According to the Mayo Clinic, chronic prolonged stress can put you at a greater risk of anxiety, depression, heart problems, weight gain, and muscle pain. But it is not just Dr. Wareham's calm outlook on life that enabled him to live such a wonderful, fulfilling life. He constantly looked for ways to make his lifestyle even healthier. It's one thing to have the theory, it's another thing to actually be doing the procedure. He admired his fellow longevity experts, such as Dr. Caldwell Esselstyn, and incorporated their advice and research findings into his own life. Dr. Wareham's sixth key to longevity was something even former U.S. President Bill Clinton adopted. It's an outstanding example of a person who's followed this program is uh, our former president, uh, Bill Clinton. And this secret key is a vegan diet. I happen to be a vegan. I've been a vegan now for about half my life. According to the National Institute of Health, Individuals on a vegetarian or vegan diet have lower rates of heart disease, blood pressure, obesity, and diabetes. In fact, according to a study published on PubMed Central, low meat intake is linked with increased longevity. Now, there are those scientists, including Dr. Colin Campbell of Cornell University, that say that animal proteins will also affect your cholesterol not just the fat. In other words, you pour off the cream off your milk and drink the skin milk. Even the casein of the milk will raise your cholesterol. Still, most people are hesitant to adopt a vegan diet. A lot of people will say, well, where do you get your vitamin B12 from? And where do you get your protein from and all that? But we know these days that that's no problem, really, to have a real balanced diet on a vegetarian diet. As Dr. Wareham pointed out, there are ways to get your required vitamin B12 levels and proteins on a vegan diet. Vitamin B12 can be taken as a supplement while foods such as tofu, beans, and lentils are packed with proteins and are excellent for plant-based diets. Key seven, Loma Linda and family. Finally, Dr. Wareham's seventh lost key to a long life was that specific lifestyle he adopted while living in Loma Linda. Earlier studies have shown Loma Linda males live six to seven years longer than the average American male, and women live four years longer than the average American female. Dr. Wareham spent most of his life in Loma Linda, which is one of five rare blue zones in the world, with one of the highest concentrations of centenarians. Most senior citizens in Loma Linda live a similar lifestyle, where they exercise together, have a low meat, high vegetable diet, and love being part of a close-knit community. In fact, markets rarely ever sell red meat in Loma Linda, and smoking and alcohol are not allowed in the city. It is no surprise that Dr. Wareham, as a part of this magnificent blue zone, led a healthy and long life. Of course, being surrounded by a big loving family was also one of the biggest contributors to Dr. Wareham's longevity. I wouldn't be here if, uh, 
Ellsworth had his life hadn't unfolded the way it did. He was a terrific, uh, amazing influence on me. A study reported by Harvard Health found that strong and healthy relationships can lower the risk of premature death by 50%. The greatest contribution that you can make is to train other people to do what you do. These seven keys will help you make the right choices in your diet, exercise, and mindset until you too would be able to lead a long, healthy, and fulfilling life. To learn more about the secrets to a long life from someone that also Dr. Wareham highly respected, watch our video on Dr. Caldwell Esselstyn, who breaks down the golden diet that can prolong and enrich your life.